how to create a waitlist landing page. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a waitlist landing page. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And now to start with, just open your browser and kindly go to MailChimp.com. But before that, if you don't know what is MailChimp, it is a popular all-in-one marketing platform primarily known for its email marketing services in which it allows businesses and individuals to create, send, and analyze email campaigns. And MailChimp offers a user-friendly interface with drag-and-drop functionality for designing email templates along with features for audience segmentation. And MailChimp has expanded its offerings beyond email marketing to include features like landing pages, social media, management, and campaigns. And as you can see in here under the pricing, you will see here that this platform offer for free. And now to sign up, you could also click the sign up free button right here to proceed signing up. Or you could also click the login button on the top right corner if you have already an account in here. And after signing in, you will be directed on this page. So this is basically the homepage looks like of MailChimp. And you will see here on the left side panel, the campaigns, automation, audience, analytics, website, content, and other options that you could start navigating. And before we create the landing pages in here, we can start by designing a waitlist media that we're going to use. And to do that, we're going to use this Canva.com. So can we go to Canva.com and from here just sign in your account. And if you don't know Canva, it is an online graphic design platform that allows users to create a wide range of visual content including presentations, social media graphics, posters, flyers, invitation, and many more. And now to proceed, just click the search bar in here and just simply enter here, waitlist. And upon clicking enter, you will be able to see here the result of the waitlist templates. And as you can see, some of these templates are offered for free and some of them need to have a premium account in order to use the templates. And since I'm using a free account, I'm just going to filter all of these results by clicking these all filters right here and on the left side panel, just scroll down until you find the free. Then click the apply button to proceed. And now we can now choose some of the waitlist templates offer for free in here. And in those options, let's say I'm going to choose this one. So kind of click on it. And after that, on this pop-up window, just proceed by clicking customize this template. And then you will be directed on this page right here where you can start customizing the design and context of these templates. Which by simply clicking on this picture right here, you will be able to see on the left side panel that you could also change the templates that are given in here. However, I'm just going to stick with this one and to edit the text, all you need to do is to simply select the text and kindly highlight all the text, then proceed by typing the letters or context that you prefer. So let's say I'm going to enter here, join now. And for this next text below here, I'm just going to keep it that way. But this context below here, let's say I'm going to choose classes begin in May. And for the website text right here, I'm just going to enter here, waitlist.com, just for example. And now to proceed changing the background, just kindly select the background and click this background color on the top panel. And on the left side, you can simply choose the palette or colors that you could also choose here. You can choose solid colors, gradients, and many more. And upon clicking on each color, you will see the difference or the effect to your templates. Let's say I'm going to choose this one right here. And for this gray one, I'm just going to select or choose other color palette right here. So let's say I'm going to select this one right here. And after successfully changing the background of our templates, if you also want to change the style of it, you could also click the design option on the left side panel, click the styles. And below here, you could also change or select some of the combination of color that you want to set as the background color or the style of your waitlist templates. So let's say I'm going to choose this one right here. And also on the left side panel, you could also navigate some of the editing tools such as these elements. So on the search bar of it, you could simply select or choose different kind of graphic design in which we have here graphics, photos, video shapes, and many more. So for instance, on the search bar, I'm going to enter here. And below here, you will be able to see some of the flowers for sold. And all you need to do is to simply select the flower that you prefer and drag it to your Canva. And you could also change or adjust the transparency of this picture on the top right corner. And let's say we've already done designing our waitlist templates. We can now proceed by downloading this project by simply clicking the share button on the top right corner. And from here, just scroll down until you find the download button. So kind of click on it and click the download button below here. But make sure to download this media files as PNG or JPEG. And now all you need to do is to wait for it to be downloaded. And after that, we can now proceed by going to our MailChimp. And on the left side panel, you will be able to see here some of the option that we can start navigating. And just proceed by clicking the create button and click landing page. Upon clicking on landing page, the next thing that you need to do is to simply enter the landing page name that you prefer. 
For instance, I'm going to enter here my wait list. And for the audience, I'm just going to select this default which is random bus. Then just click the begin button to proceed. Then upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page right here in which the next thing that you need to do is to simply select the template. And below this option, I'm going to select this simple one. So when I click on it, and after clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. In which from here, since we already designed a template on Canva, we can just proceed by simply clicking the delete button in order to delete some of this content. And after deleting all of the content block, the next thing that we need to do is to simply use the blocks on the right side panel which is this image. So can I click in here, image, then just drag it to header and proceed by clicking upload an image button right here and upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do under these smile files is to simply click this upload and just simply choose the images or media files that we just downloaded from Canva. And after uploading successfully, you will now be able to see here the result. In which on the right side panel, you could also change the image display size if you want to. Then just proceed by clicking save and close button below here to proceed. And after that, we could also add other blocks. But we're going to select the sign up form. So can you drag it to this body. And after dragging it, the next thing that we need to do is to simply fill out the content on the right side panel. In which below, we could add additional fields such as first name, last name, and even address or phone number and even birthday. I'm going to check this one in order to say that it is required. In which it is basically some of the info that we needed for other users in order to join to our waitlist. And below here, under the button and button text, we could also add here or change this into join now. And aside from that, below here, if you scroll down, you will be able to see here or change the confirmation message when some of the users try to successfully sign up or join to our waitlist. This is basically what they will be able to read after the page of joining. So let's I'm going to change this success you have now joined in our waitlist. Then just proceed by clicking save and close button below here. And aside from that, you could also change the style of our landing pages from its page, body, and even header. And that we are now successfully creating our landing page for our waitlist, you could also add other content if you want to using the right side panel and other editing tools that you could also see here. And to preview what it looks like, you could simply click the preview button right here. And now to proceed, just click the save and close button below here in order to save our landing page in MailChimp. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page right here. Just proceed by clicking the publish button on the top right corner. But you could also check some of the page or content of your waitlist right here. And now after clicking the publish button, you will be able to see here your link that will be directed you to your landing page. You can simply copy this one and send it directly to your friends, to their email, and even through Messenger, WhatsApp, and other platform in which they will be able to be directed on this page. And once they fill out all of the required information, they will be able to join to our waitlist. So that is just basically how you can create a waitlist landing page. Thank you.